I got to be candid here. Uh, there's a, 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 a real partisan debate that has emerged on minimum wage that's a part of this $1.9 trillion stimulus deal. You heard it right there from the Fed chairman, the need for more economic support. When can that minimum wage get raised? Well, we, we hope in a, in a couple of weeks we're going to put it in. I mean, it's in the House bill that we're going to pass on Friday night, uh, taking it to $15 an hour by 2025. And, uh, you know, it may face some challenges in the Senate, but uh, we're going we're gonna to pass it here in the House and see what the Senate does with it. When you hear Republicans uh, say that the minimum wage is just something that financially the country nor small businesses can't afford, what is your response to that criticism? Well, my response is that, you know, six, eight months ago, we were paying tribute, honoring people like the grocery uh, shelf stockers and bus drivers and sanitation workers and, and people who were doing jobs that we never thought were really critical. And now we found out that they're critical. And I think now it's time that uh, we actually reward them financially for the important work that they're doing. But beyond those people, uh, we haven't raised the federal minimum wage since 2007. That was my, my first month on the job here. And meanwhile, most, most areas of the, of the country are already at $10, 11 $12 uh, an hour or more. So what we found in places like Seattle and other places is that when you raise the minimum wage, the economy actually prospers. You have so many more people who are out being uh, spenders and, and uh, the, all of that money goes back into those economies and it ends up being a growth stimulus uh, proposal and not something that kills jobs. You know, I was struck by this, that the, in addition to the minimum wage, the, the Republicans are also raising the issue that they feel that they don't want to have to bail out uh, states that they argue are controlled by Democrats and, and, that, and, and that, quite frankly, that, that, they shouldn't be, that their taxpayer constituents shouldn't be on the hook for it. Uh, what's your, you know, do you agree? I, I take it you don't agree with that assessment. No, I had a meeting the other day with the uh, uh, U.S. Conference of Mayors, for instance. There were a lot of Republicans on that uh, Zoom meeting, and all of them are very enthusiastic about this package. People like Jim Justice in West Virginia and uh, Asa Hutchinson in Arkansas, very, very red states, uh, think this is a good idea. They need the, the help. And, you know, I, I know that the states have differed in how much revenue they've lost, but every state has suffered an economic impact. And the money that we're providing here doesn't just go to uh, make up for lost revenues. It also enables states to do things that help save businesses and help save institutions in their, their community and their state. So this is, this is something that is, is way beyond just re replacing tax revenue. And again, I don't think we have red, red roads and blue roads, at least I'm not, I haven't seen many, uh, or red water systems or blue water systems or red schools or blue schools. And, and, and that's the way we're looking at this. Every state has been impacted. Chairman Yarmouth, I always find this fascinating that you were actually the congressman for Senate Major for, for Leader McConnell's congressional district. I, I never knew that uh, until my show prep this morning. How's that relationship? Well, I've known Mitch for a long time, since 1968. Uh, I was a Republican, actually, until 1985. We've obviously gone in very different directions since then. Uh, you know, we're civil, we get along, but uh, on policy, we're, we're poles apart, as you would say. All right, I got to ask you one more question, just so I know you're tight on time, but before I let you go, uh, could a COVID stimulus find passage along with a budget vote to get into the weeds here? Yeah, we're going to, I mean, we're, we're doing it with the budget reconciliation process. Uh, we're going to Rules Committee on Friday morning. Uh, we're bringing the budget reconciliation, the bill, the American Rescue Plan, to the floor Friday night. And uh, we'll pass it and then send it along to the Senate. The Senate will do with it what it will next week. And presumably we'll get it back the week of March 8th. And then we'll uh, get it signed into law.